Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Almost like a peanut shell. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right when you walk into Lone Star, where people weren't allergic to everything, you could step on shells, and it was fun. Hold on, are, are you mocking people that have a life or death allergy to peanuts? Yes, because now you ruined Lone Star for me. Come on now, get a sip. Talking about shelf turds. Talk about shelf turds. Talk about shelf turds. And uh, get yourself a glass. My name is David, this is Kira, and welcome to Shelf Turds. And tonight we compare two bottles that have the exact same mash bill. What? They're made by the same distillery. Whoa. They are bottled at the same proof. Oh my gosh, are these the same bottles? They're aged for at least four years, if not longer. And one of them is triple the cost of the other. That is fool. Fool's business. How? What is fool's business? It's a foolish business to be in where you're just selling snake oil and you're saying this oil is better than this one because I paid in it. We are talking about Evan Williams Bald and Bond, affectionately known in our household as White Label. It is 18 bucks, 20 bucks if you're unlucky and available absolutely everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. And the other bottle which has the exact same mash bill, but it's triple the cost, and you can barely ever find it, Henry McKenna Tenure. Same mash bill, same distillery, same proof. These are both bottled and bond, and really the only difference then is this is a single barrel and is aged for a little bit longer. So do you wanna taste them side by side? Yeah, I'm gonna taste this and I'm gonna tell you which one's better. Oh, it's a little screw top, I forgot about that. All right, so Evan Williams, white labels on my left, Henry McKenna is on my right. So uh, let's get into it. Let's taste uh, white label first. Okay. Mmm, smells like grape juice a little bit. A lot of grapey fruit notes, actually. A ton of that. And then I'm also getting some like char, but it's like shitty char. How is it shitty char? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's not that it's not very good. Someone didn't char it enough. So I'm getting light hints of nut on the nose. It doesn't. All right. So this bottle's been open for a while, and you can tell that we've enjoyed a lot of it. But this does not smell all that proofy off the nose. It doesn't smell hot. It doesn't smell ethanol-y. Okay. Nuts. The more I'm into it, is more just nuts, nuts, nuts.com. I don't know what nuts you've had, but mine don't smell like this. I meant like the kind that you buy at the store, not the kind that you find in my pants. No, not those nuts either! I am getting like a um, gross Lone Star nut. Yes! You know what I'm talking about? Almost like a peanut shell. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right when you walk into Lone Star, where people weren't allergic to everything, you could step on shells, and it was fun. Hold on, are, are you mocking people that have a life or death allergy to peanuts? Yes, because now you ruined Lone Star for me. Our species is devolving, because now everyone was okay with nuts, now you can't even have any around you. I think if we are evolving, we should never have allergies. We should just become superior to the world, and now these people, just like, I'm allergic to freaking water, and like, gluten and anything else. How many people do you find are allergic to water? They'd be like, I can't be around water. Even if I just see it, I just break out. Just like, you're freaking nuts. Evan Williams Bald and Bond does the job solid. I don't hate it, but it's not knocking my socks off. Okay. Let's get into Henry McKenna tenure. All right. It's weird that you say knock your socks off because you don't even wear socks. I literally am not wearing socks now. I'm barefoot. Yeah. I'm barefoot and pregnant. Give us all warts when you're walking around the house all barefoot. I don't even have any warts. How do I give warts if I don't have any warts? <laughs> it's an expression. Is it? <laughs> this one smells nicer. That's my note. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you clicked on the video. I'm not getting nutsnutsnuts.com mm -hmm. on the nose. I'm not. I'm getting fruit. The same kind of like fruity note that I got off of Evan Williams though. Grapes again, not citrusy, mm -hmm. but grapes. That's not a citrus, right? I, I, what am I, a fruitologist? Citruses have peels. 
and wedges, right? So dark I, cherry. Yes. Dark cherry. Yeah. Some marzipan in here. Some brown sugar. Again, I'm getting a lot of fruit forward, but then after, it's all just like charred oak. Mm -hmm. It's a nice like charred oak kind of a, a taste. Because here's the thing. I've never tasted a charred barrel. True. But what, what in my mind I equate to the effects of a charred barrel, I'm getting charred barrel, burnt peanuts, mm -hmm. like just straight up like, like over, someone over a, a fire, a... fucked them up, burnt peanuts. And um, peanuts on a kebab stick and they forgot about them. Peanuts kebabs. I just thought that was something you did because you're talking about roasting them. You think that a kebab <laughs> stick is the only way to roast a nut? <laughs> yes. You, uh, do you even have any idea how hard that is to roast a nut on a kebab stick? I don't know. People put you have worms. to drill little holes into the nuts <laughs> and they have a tiny kebab stick to go through them. That sounds good. That sounds like a lot of work. Well. You could just put them on a pan and put them in an oven. Wait, well, how did you do your nuts? <laughs> Shorn. Shorn like the day I was born. Brown sugar, char barrel, burnt peanuts. That's about it for me. What about you? Yeah, so like I said, fruit forward. Mm -hmm. um, like a, a rotten something. Something's rotten. It's not a raisin anymore. A rotten date. All right, so Kira, what is your what is your assessment of these two? Obviously, the one on our right, your left, Henry McKenna Tenure, hard to find. Literally, when I saw this on the shelf in Michigan, I knew I had to, to grab it up because I have not seen one on the shelf in a couple of years. There was two mm -hmm. there, and the guy said, if you don't buy both of these right now... This guy said, if you don't buy these right now, I will kill you. This guy said, I'm trying to get satisfaction from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so... So uh, you hardly ever see this on the shelf. It has tripled the price. Kira, what's your assessment between these two pours? Well, I just went back to the Evan Williams while sure. you were... While I was yammering on. I'm going to cut all my yammering out, but while I was yammering on. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, st I'm still getting that just peanut Lone Star. That's it from Evan Williams. Mm -hmm. The Weller, or this isn't Weller. What is this? It's more it's more fruity, and I kind of like that. And it I is? A, yeah. Wow. I think it's way more fruity. Evan Williams now, I'm just getting Lone Star. So they are totally different. Somebody could have switched the barrels in the Rick House or whatever, and I don't know how they got different tastes out of the same barrel. It's weird. It's not the same barrel. It's the same mash bill, the same distillery, mm -hmm. both filed in bond, but I'm assuming it's different buildings, different levels, one's longer than the other, aged, longer oh. aged. One barrel is longer than the other. I, I was imagining. I was like, they why would they make a long skinny barrel? Skinny barrels. So you have long said Evan Williams White Label, one of your faves. Pit it up against a different iteration of itself. What do you think? Mm, let me try again. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Should the people be hunting McKenna and go crazy to find it, or is it slightly younger version? Is this good enough? I think Evan Williams White Label is good enough. I don't think you really need to go hunt around like a freaking idiot and go to all these stores and travel at waste gas, running down your car. The depreciation value is just like depreciating. So just stay home, call your local store across the corner and have them walk you over some Evan Williams white label. You'll okay. be just fine. You heard it here first. Uh, good, but not good enough. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Kira, close the show. Okay, if you are hunting, you need to make sure that you have a license. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time on Shelf Turds. I don't think anyone peed in anything here. Well, whiskey kind of looks like the color of pee. If your pee looks like this, then we have a serious, serious problem. <laughs> Mine's also chunky sometimes, too. All right, could you run that by me again? You said your, your, <laughs> your pee is chunky? It's the fountain of youth. You probably got confused. I'm getting a, confused. a note of the fountain of youth. Yeah, you got confused. Who was that explorer that, that claimed that he found it? The fountain of youth? Yeah. George Washington? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I can get behind that. You know, I have this cheat sheet in front of me, and I always forget that I have this. I know. I just looked, and I said, marzipan. I've yeah. never had that before, so why the hell? Who
Who would tell me to choose marzipan on my list? I'll just pick one up. Earthworm. I can smell that. Yep. Yep, there it is. <laughs> this is our own version of the whiskey edition. Shelters! Shelters! Party time! Party time! Excellent! Excellent. <laughs> Oh, you're really cool. Yeah, did you see that my air guitar moves? Yeah, your air guitar moves were. I'm left handed air guitar. Wait. Doesn't matter. Never gonna solve that one. Anyone mentions with speed of the game, you know I'll be reborn. Clicking on. All this battle porn It could be a unicorn Can't stop watching all this battle porn Make it oily Give me viscous I want to taste biscuits at Christmas My palms feel so warm After watching all